That'll open. Come back, come talk to us, man. How what? We heard you got assaulted. Are you all right? In Puyallup, Washington, the police are about to commit a string of constitutional violations. I just want to make sure you're all right. All right. The deputies want to arrest Jeremiah Connors for an alleged assault, but do not have a warrant. Just so you know, you're being, you're being audio and video recorded. Oh, I know. We, I got to legally tell you. That's why. Oh, I know no. it's awkward. I know it's weird. Well, I can legally say that you need to come back with a warrant. Since you're gonna be like that. A warrant for what? For whatever you're here for. We're here to talk to you, man. Yep, I know. We hear you got we heard you got assaulted. Yep. So we wanna hear what I happened. I believe that you have my best interest at heart because of the last time I dealt with you guys in Renton. I have never worked in Renton and you've never dealt oh, with me, I'm man. The huh? I can't hear you, dude. I know. Go get a warrant. A warrant for what? If you were in trouble, I'd be reading your rights. I just want to talk to you, make sure everything's good. I'm not coming out because you're reading me my rights. Okay, I'm not right. reading your rights. Not right now, anyway. The case law is clear. Unless there is an emergency, it is illegal for law enforcement to enter and search a private residence without a warrant. So you don't want to give us your side of the story, huh? We're going to come back with a dog. He's gonna come in there, gonna come get you. That officer just cut a cord that had been holding the door closed. A warrant! Yeah, come out, come out and win a force. A warrant! Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Camera! I didn't do Get off of me! Come out! Alright, no! Come out! Hey, Gus, Nick, Nick, just whipped out a knife, prompting the police to pull out their guns. Shoot in the head! Hey, shoot me! Drop the knife! Hey. Drop the knife! Hey. Right with one! Drop the knife! Get the off of me! Get the off of me! Get the off of me! Shoot me! You won't get shot! Come on! I will shoot you! Come out! Nope. I don't want that. That's yours. Connors dropped the knife, but still yeah. refuses to come out, so the police start tasering come him. Come out! Come out! Come out! Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Nice. Right here. Stop it! Oh, you got me, bro. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. You're all so. You're all so. I didn't do. I'm trying to get the. What? No, sir. We're going with the team. Ready, Cochran. Let's go. Got this trailer. Stop. Face the trailer. What trailer? You're so. F it was all in line. Right now you're under arrest for assault two, resisting arrest, and assault three. You're under arrest for fing. Failure to show a warrant. Anything else on you? Nope. You sure? Yes, positive. Unlock your car. Uh, uh, you got a good pack? Get a good pack. Right here. Whatever. I don't know what huh? that is. That pocket. I don't see you lied to me. I don't know. You strong patted me down. Work, dude, strong work. Fucking lie to me. Anything Fucking else? Lighter. Get over it. Spread him. Sit down. Watch your feet. Drop my taser cartridge in there. And my taser. You good? Yeah, except for zapping both of us. Yeah, you. I had it. I had it contact to him, and he freaking kicked it over, and got me and you. Apparently, at one point during the scuffle, the deputies tasered themselves. Anyway, two days after this arrest in August 2022, Jeremy Connors was charged with second-degree attempted murder for having waved the knife at one of the police officers. Connors was also charged with assault. Another charge was filed stemming from an earlier fight with a neighbor. Recently, justice was served in. Connor's favor. As the News Tribune headline stated, jury acquits Pierce County man whose rights were violated in South Hill assault arrest. 
Connors Court appointed attorney from the Department of Assigned Counsel, Eric Trujillo, submitted a motion arguing the deputy's actions were illegal and that it was law enforcement's violent actions that caused Connors to react the way he did. A judge agreed, and the jury then found Connors not guilty of assault on the neighbor. After all of this, authorities finally released Connors from custody. Records show he had spent nine months in the Pierce County, Washington jail. As for the sheriff's deputies, Ernest Cedillo and Brent Tullock, they are still on the job, and there is no indication they received even a reprimand. Amazing. Here in Connecticut, police are now facing a lawsuit for smashing into the wrong home. Police with search warrant! Police with search warrant! Police with search warrant! Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.